broken on the ground, you will be found. So let the sun come streaming in, cause you'll reach up and then you'll rise again. If you only look around, you will be found. My name is Chloe Hawthorne, I'm 18 years old, I'm based in London, UK, and today I'm going to be singing some songs for you guys. And I'm also going to be answering some questions that you asked on Anna's Instagram. First of all, thank you Anna for running these. Uh, these have been so fun to watch and to do. So these have been great during lockdown when everybody's a bit down. So these have been really fun. Um, some facts about me. I trained at Spirit Young Performance Company for five years. I've since left, but it was such a great experience and I met so many great people. That was really fun. Wildest weather that you've ever heard of Where everyone is nicer but it's never nice above Welcome to the farthest place you'd get from Disneyland Fish and chips and shipwrecks This is Newfoundland Welcome to the rock An islander, I am an islander I've been in a few musicals here and there When I grow Just because you find that life's not fair It does mean that you just have to grin and bear it If you always take it on the chin and grab it I'm currently mainly basing on the acting side of musical theatre because I just I love it so much. Um, yeah, the songs I'm going to be singing for you today will be When He Sees Me from Waitress, I Don't Need a Roof from Big Fish, and There Are Worse Things I Could Do from Grease. So, hope you enjoy. First, I'm going to be singing When He Sees Me from Waitress. I stick with the real things, usually facts and figures When information's in its place, I minimize the guessing game Well guess what? Whoa. I don't like guessing games Oh, when I feel things before I know the feeling How am I supposed to operate if I'm just tossed around by fate? Like on an unexpected date With a stranger who might talk too fast or ask me questions about myself before I've decided that He can ask me questions about myself, he might sit too close Or call the waiter by his first name when the Oreos But eat the cookies before the cream, but what scares me the most? What scares me the most? Is what if when he sees me? What if he doesn't like it? What if he runs the other way? So I'm just fine inside my shell shade mine. This way I get the best view. So if when he sees me, I want him to. So before I do my next song, I'm going to be answering some questions that you asked over on Instagram. So what's your favorite part of performing? Um, my favourite part of performing is definitely the people. You meet so many different people when you do performing. It's like this own world within itself and everybody I've met from performing have been like become lifelong friends of mine. So it's such a rewarding experience when you meet such wonderful people. So that's probably my favourite part. Um, what's your dream production to work on? <sighs> I don't know. Um, even though I'm focused more on acting at the moment, I would love to go back into musicals. I adore musicals. I think it will always be where my heart was because it's where I started and my heart was there and it still is there. So I would love to do another musical, but 
I, I'll do anything at this point, TV, film. Um, I had so much fun doing um, TV filming, so maybe I'll do something like that again. What's the thing you miss most about Matilda and Spirit? Um, for those of you who don't know, I played Matilda, the Matilda musical from 2012 to 2013. So fun, very fun. You can look up pictures of me on Google. I look very small, smaller than I am now. Um, I miss most about Matilda, again, the people I got to work with, all of whom I stayed in contact with and I still talk to a lot of them today. And I will always be thankful that that experience gave me such wonderful friendships. It, it, so many things came out of that experience and I'm so, so grateful. Um, with Spirit, I think it was, as well as the people, the opportunities that I got through Spirit were incredible. I got to perform at West End Live, I think in 2016. And that was so cool because we spent a week rehearsing this performance of Bring It On. And then we got to perform it. And it was so cool because I'd never performed at West End Life before. And it was just an amazing experience overall. I think also same with Matilda, the opportunities I got through that were insane. Um, I did so many wonderful performances. So I have those two things to thank for where I am right now. So yeah. Where do you train? I trained at the Spirit and Performance Company for five years. And before that, I just trained for about seven or eight years at a local dance school, which was fun because that gave me the boost to, you know, go on to bigger things. And I'll be grateful to them as well for the training they gave me when I was younger. I think I've been training for about 14 years now. Um, and as for currently, I'm not planning on training at a uni or drama school. I'm currently working at the moment, um, but you never know. That decision might change and that's fine. I have time. Um, what's your favourite place in Cornwall? For those of you who don't know, I'm partly Cornish. It's such a wonderful place. I go there on holiday every year and it's just so fun and it's like a really relaxing place for me to go. Um, my favourite place in Cornwall is probably Tintagel. I go there once a year and it's so wonderful. The, you know, the cliffs and the little town that goes into Tintagel are so cute. The thing I probably don't like though is when you go to the cliffs, there's like a slope you have to go back up because once you go down the slope, you obviously have to go back up. And I walked it once and my legs were gone for like three days. So I take the bus or like a little cart up there now because I'm lazy, <laughs> but it's still a great place. Um, favorite part you've ever played? That's so difficult because every part I've played has been so different from like school productions to West End shows to TV. Everything I've done has been so different in a sense that I can't compare them. But <sighs> um, obviously Matilda was incredible, such an incredible experience. But I also played Sophie in the BFG for about half a year in Birmingham, which was so fun because it was at a smaller theater and I got to do it with a couple of my old Matilda friends, which was fun. So we kept following each other around. It was really cool. Um, so that was a great experience. But if I had to choose, um, I really liked playing Trina in Campfire Creepers, which was a VR series I did, which I filmed in Spain for about a month, I think in 2017, 2018. And that was so much fun because I got to go to the premiere in Barcelona. It was directed by Alexandra Agile and I got to work with Robert England, who's so, so lovely. And he gave me some wonderful advice when I was there. Um, I liked that because that was one of the first film things I had properly done. And it was so fun to watch back because it's so different. It's not TV, it's VR. So I got to watch myself back on these VR goggles and I got to look around and I was like, oh, I'm there. So that was fun because it was different from anything I've ever done before so yeah so I'm gonna sing my next song now next I'm gonna be singing I don't need a roof from Big Fish in your face I see a lifetime in this place I feel at ease Wallpaper peeling Paint very thin Here's where I end and begin I don't need to say 
there could be a single shingle dangling overhead. I don't need a roof to make my bed. Close your eyes. I'm still beside you. Finally, I'm going to be singing There Are Worse Things I Could Do from Greece. I could flirt with all the guys Smile at them and bat my eyes Press against them when we dance Make them think they stand a chance Then refuse to see it through that's a thing I'd never do I could stay home every night Wait around for Mr. Right Take cold showers every day Then throw my life away For a dream that won't come true I could hurt someone like me Out of spite or jealousy I don't steal and I don't cry But I can feel and I can lie A fact I bet you never To cry in front of you That's the worst thing